Ladies, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today I have just a good old fashioned haul video for you. Have you ever like been in a global pandemic and then the way you get things is you have to order them all online but like you know if you order them online they're gonna come a little slower and you're okay with that, you totally understand. But then everything you order gets delivered at the same time and you think, oh my, what have I done? That is what this video is. I have a lot of things here. <laughs> I have Bath and Body Works, Yes Style, Ulta, Target, that's it. So if you guys are interested in seeing everything I have hauled lately and uh, all that stuff, then keep on watching. Let's go. Also, it is very hot today. We've been having crazy, crazy weather this week. It was like so cold at the beginning of the week. It was like in the 30s and now it's like 85 degrees out. I'm sweating, my room is so hot. I brought up some iced coffee that I made because so hot. It, it, these cups are, I've had these since last summer. I bought these on Amazon. They're, they are in my Amazon storefront. I can link them down below. I love these cups. It just, they're perfect for iced coffee. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with Bath and Body Works, so let me grab that box. Okay, so if you have seen any of my recent empties videos the last couple months, you would know that because we've been stuck home, I've been burning a lot of candles and <laughs> I've been going through like fall and winter candles mainly because I don't have any like seasonal candles. And I wasn't gonna order candles from Bath and Body Works if they weren't having a sale. And they finally had a sale at some point this past month. So I ordered six candles let me see and i think only one of these i've ever had before so i'm excited to sniff all right let's see what we got here i do like the way bath and body works packages their candles in these things so this first one is called banana bunt cake i bought this one because scott really likes bananas and i thought maybe he would like it oh my god this smells like banana bread that is lovely that's a good one. Okay, this one is strawberry pound cake. I've never had smelled this one before. Oh my God. This smells, I want to say like strawberry short, shortcake. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh my God. I'm so excited to not be burning winter and fall candles. You have no idea. Not that I don't love those scents, but like I like to attribute scents with like certain times of the year and I just would like some summery spring scents, you know? Wow, this is a neon one. This is Island Margarita. This is a repurchase for me. I have burned a couple of these in the past. Oh my God, it smells so good. But oh my God, this is neon green. How cool is that? Yeah, I love Island Margarita. This is, that's a fave. All right, this next one is Paris Cafe. Mmm. Oh my gosh, what is this one? Coffee, oh God. This does smell like coffee and like baked goods. Mm, that smells so good. This is one of the white barn candles. I think someone recommended that scent to me before and that's why I picked it up. Ooh, we have another neon one. Okay, this one is Waikiki Beach Coconut. Ooh, that smells delicious. Mm, I love these neon packages. Oh, this just like, this is making me so happy. Okay, one more. Okay, one more candle. And this is You Had Me at Aloha. Let's see if this smells like. Ooh, what is this? It smells so good. Berries, orange, petals. It's almost like fruity flowers. Oh, this one smells so good. Oh, I'm so, so excited. You have no idea. I'm so excited. Okay, it was worth the wait. I do have to admit, however, those are not the only candles I purchased. I was watching Taylor Wynn's, it was like a recent, was it a favorites video? I forget if it was a favorites video. But she was talking about this candle from Target. This is the Nature's Wick Weathered Wood Candle. But it has one of those, those wicks where it like crackles. I've never had a candle that did this. This smells like, uh, what is, does it say like scents on these? It smells like woodsy kind of. It's a really nice uh, scent. Yeah, it says wooden wick crackles as it burns. I'm really excited for this. I wasn't gonna immediately buy this until. I was watching Lauren Mae Beauty's empties video and she was talking about the Boom Boom cream candle and how good it smells. And obviously I am not buying that, I cannot afford that. But someone in her comments video said this candle from Target was a dupe. Now I've never smelled the Boom Boom cream candle so I cannot say if it's a dupe. This is the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, Cedar Magnolia candle. I don't, 
I mean, I don't smell it and smell boom boom cream. It definitely smells good. Like that cedar magnolia, it's like a like a woodsy floral. I don't know. I mean, I'll burn it at some point and see if I smell boom boom cream, but that is the only reason I bought this. So I now have eight new candles to burn, so I'll be good for a while. Okay, the next order I did place was from Yes Style, and I knew they have kind of a longer delivery time. They do ship from Asia, but there were a couple things I wanted to pick up for me and Scott, and so I placed this order. I haven't ordered from Yes Style in quite a while. I actually think I might be a Yes Style affiliate or influencer. I don't know. I don't even know what that means. If I can look in my emails and figure out what that means, I will link it down below. <laughs> Just know I'm not sure. <laughs> Fully sure what being one of their influencers means but this was wrapped in the most interesting way so it was like in a dhl bag and then inside the bag it was like in this like almost like a fast food delivery thing wrapped in bubble wrap i thought it was very interesting this is already open because i had to give scott something but i ordered a pretty wide variety here i have skincare i ordered some jewelry i mean let's start with the jewelry so i am all about the affordable jewelry that's just me. So I ordered a couple pieces. I ordered these like, they're like chain link earrings. I will try to link all of these things down below. Yes Style has like a lot of like flash sales. So stuff goes really, really affordable a lot. I ordered one of these. I think this is a necklace or an anklet. I don't really remember. Does it say on here? Anklet. I ordered an anklet because my ankles are going to be showing soon, I guess. Okay. What is it? So it has, um, like a star and a moon. That's cute. And then I ordered, I think this is like a double necklace. So this is like a double necklace. It's really hard to show, but like one has like little beads, and then one has like a circle. So this is all like jewelry that's like a couple dollars. It's really affordable. So one of the things I first discovered ever at yeah, from an order I made on at Yes Style is the Laneige Lip Seep lip sleeving mask. I am out of it. So I bought this and it cost me $13 on Yes Style compared to the $20 at Sephora, which to me is a huge price difference. It's like, what is that 40% off? It's, it's a pretty decent price difference. So here it is. I also ordered this, which I'm not really familiar with this brand, Caramel, but it, it almost looks like the lip sleeving mask. And I was going to try to compare the two formulas. I thought that would be interesting. All right, what else did I order? I Okay, so this is actually a mist for your hair. This is from the brand Toso Wung. And this is a sebum out hair hair mist. So I, it doesn't say anything on here, but from what I remember, it was actually for like oily scalp. And I, I've never actually like heard, I guess it's like similar to dry shampoo, but it's like a sebum out mist. I don't know. It sounded really interesting to me as somebody with, with a very oily scalp. So I got that to try out. I got this. This is from the brand Coelf. Coelf. This is the clarifying body spray. And what the, what this basically said it was, is like a spray you can use on like breakouts on your body. And I always get breakouts on my back and it can be really, really hard to like wash where I get breakouts. So yeah, it says Body spot control formula, purifying and sebum care after shower use. So I think you can like spray this on after your shower, after you shower. That's what it looks like. So I thought that, that was really cool. And then I did get one product from Cosrx. I've heard great things about this brand. And this is a AHA BHA clarifying treatment toner. This looks like this. Uh, oh, and then the big thing I bought was the Misha BB cream. I've been hearing Jessica Braun talk about this forever, it feels like now. Now, I had no idea how to choose out a shade. What do I have here? 23 Natural Beige. No idea what that shade is, but I'm very excited to try this out. I've heard nothing but good things. What else do we have in here? Okay, so we ha I had ordered face masks. I did give one to Scott. They had a lot of options. I just picked a random one. It was one of the few places I could find face masks for sale. They always throw in something for free, so <laughs> they threw in the Sweet Honey Bear face mask. It's a sheet mask. And then I ordered sponges, and they are shaped like cats. So if that isn't important, I don't know what is. And yeah, that is my Yes Style order. Bunch of random stuff, but some pretty cool stuff. I'm excited to try out a lot of this like skincare. 
they have a lot of very interesting skincare on there. I mean, it's almost like endless with the uh, options. So now I will go back to Target because I did get more from Target. Okay, so this Target order was your girl was having a bad day and sometimes when I would have bad days, I would just like to walk around Target. It was very therapeutic and that's not really an option anymore. So I told Scott I was gonna virtually walk around Target and I grabbed some makeup and some clothing and I'm gonna show it to you. So with the makeup I purchased, I did get a $5 gift card, I think, for my next shopping spree, we could call it. So the first thing I picked up is the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer. This just seems like so up my alley. I've seen so many people raving about it. It just, I love a good glowy bronzer and this just seems fantastic. I picked up a blush from Burt's Bees. This is Bare Peach. I've never tried one of their blushes before. And I feel like I've heard Kathleen Lights for so long rave about toasted cinnamon. I probably could not pull off toasted cinnamon, but you know, it just felt like the right time to finally pick up one of these blushes. <laughs> and then I picked up a brow gel. This is from Alme, and this is their really real brows brow styler. And I did get this in clear. I'm always looking for a good drugstore dupe for the ABH clear brow gel. So, I mean, this one looked like it had a really nice thin wand. It looked winning to me. So that's the makeup I bought. Now for the clothes. I got two sweatshirts and two pairs of shorts. So all the kids on TikTok are like rocking this really cool tie dye and I love tie dye. Don't wanna say I started the trend, but I did. So I got this uh, hoodie. This is from the brand Colsey and it's just a tie dye sweatshirt. It's like pastel. Super cute. I'm gonna look so hip and cool with the kids. And then the other sweatshirt I got, this is from the brand Wild Fable. And it's kind of like a waffle knit, but it's like really fuzzy, not waffle knit. It's got a hoodie and it like ties up in the front and it's longer in the back. And I just thought it was really cute. So I got that. And then I got two pairs of shorts. One is a pair of biker shorts from the brand All In Motion. I got a pair of uh, leggings from this brand recently, but. I really like wearing biker shorts around the house, especially now it's getting hot. I'm going to want to wear these a lot more now. <laughs> and then I got this really comfy pair. Oh my gosh. This is from the brand Colsey as well. And these literally feel like if you made a hoodie into shorts, they are so soft and they are just so comfy looking. I was like, Scott, you have to feel these shorts. So that's what I'm really excited about. And you probably would have thought that was enough target for me. Nay, nay, I say. Uh, we did go food shopping this morning at Target. And I need a new, I needed a new sports bra. So we're looking at sports bras. I can show you that in a second. Actually, let me just show you that first before we continue. <laughs> yeah, so I got this new sports bra. It's pretty like basic, it's just black. It's from that same brand, All In Motion. It's just very basic black sports bra. But again, everyone keeps getting these really cool pajama sets. I don't own a pajama set. I feel extremely left out that I don't own a pajama set. And I looked at the pajama sets and I bought one. It's like a tank top with a pair of shorts and it has two scrunchies. How cute is this? I don't own cute pajama sets and I feel like I am one of the cool kids now. So I did it. I am now officially a cool kid. We're almost done. We're getting there. This is the craziest haul. Before we do Ulta, I forgot I bought this. Oh, I'm so excited. Sol de Janeiro made Brazilian Touch hand sanitizer. I have been waiting to film with you guys to smell this. Let me sanitize my hands. Oh my God, it really does smell like the Boom Boom Cream. Holy crap. Well, that's amazing. And yep, I bought two. I also got a sample of the perfume. I won't try it now since I already have the Boom Boom scent in my head from the spray, but I did get a little sample. This is a perfume sample I will try, but this is just so exciting. All right, now for Ulta. So. Couple things. First thing I bought is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I have maybe one use left in my current micellar water. So I wanted to get a new one. I didn't have any backups. So I just wanted to get like the biggest size they make of the Garnier. So that's what I did. Um, Sunbum was buy one, get one half off. So I wanted to get Scott some SPF. This first one I got is like a scalp hair mist. It's SPF 30, but he runs a lot of stuff and I'm always like, telling him to make sure to put sunscreen on his head. I feel like he doesn't. So I feel like if he just has like a little squirt that he can squirt on there, it might make him do it. And then I also got him just like a, their spray SPF 50. 
And then for myself, NYX was having five times points on their purchases. So I grabbed their high glass finishing powder, which just sounds awesome. I bought their Born to Glow concealer. I've been hearing a lot of people raving about this. It does seem like something I would like. And I did buy one of their Filler Instinct lipsticks in the shade Beach Casual. So actually, with everything that I bought here, I have a BB cream, bronzer blush, brow gel, finishing powder, concealer, lipstick. I may be able to do like a full face of full impressions with all this makeup. So maybe that will be coming soon. But yeah, that is it. That is the conclusion. That is the haul. I know, it's a lot. And it's a lot of candles and a lot of Target and just a lot, but I am human. I'm very excited about this though. Let me just tell you something. And it is 80% alcohol. I did make sure to check the alcohol before I went and ordered it. But yeah, let me know what you guys have been buying lately or have you not been buying lately? Because I've been not doing good at that. And yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know whatever you want me to know in the comments. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.